Yo, Vincent here. So Echoes of Mana is dropping in about six hours of this video, of this recording. And I'm very excited. I can't wait to stream it. I'll be streaming it on Twitch, YouTube, um, all that stuff. And I just want to talk about like the characters I'm going to be going for. So there is a reroll in a way. Well, at least in what I saw on the live streams. They have a reroll at least for your first character. So uh, my advice to playing this would be... There's no tier list out right now or anything. Don't worry about it. Just play who you want to play. Because I believe in the old live streams as well, they mentioned that there is no class changes. So it's there's going to be a power creep is what I'm going to think. Because each class is going to be a new unit, a separate character in the game. So like let's say I get Kevin, right? And I want a Fatal Fist Kevin or Enlightened Kevin. Um... You don't actually class change and progress into it. You actually got to roll for another Kevin. So, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of these characters are going to get like a better version of them and whatnot. We'll see how that goes of like how if they're going to merge it or just or anything like that. But yeah, so the game is dropping at 10 p.m. Pacific time, right? This is where it ends. So the app is maintaining in progress. And I just want to go over the characters I'm going to go for because there's no tier list. All right, first of all, I just want to mention that we did get a million pre-registrations. So these are the rewards that we're getting. Um, I'm, I'm, these are like the summon crystals I'm, I'm guessing here. We do get a three-star prim, which uh, uses a boomerang. And then we also got a memory gem, which is technically like worm prints in Dragalia Lost. They're like the extra equipment, the hexagon thing that you see on the party screen. We also got this uh, ally, which is allowed you to unlock the mana board like to... A, Ascend, I believe. Yeah, I think Ascend. <laughs> One of those. And then we have Benevolent Spirit Icon. I believe this is also one of... this. Maybe this could be used as a skill upgrade. Like a free skill upgrade. And then we have Awakening Orbs. So these are like an order, right? So this is for skill awakening. This is for awakening your character. This is for unlocking your mana board. So that's what I take from these. I know Awakening Orbs you use to... Um, awaken to like the next star level so that's what that is I still don't know where to get them per se like from what I've been looking at but these awakening orbs are very important so um, pick your favorite character and awaken them and then start start carrying yeah yeah I'm gonna do my best to carry in the streams by the way but anyway we have a character section here of course I'm gonna go for Kevin um, from what I heard from people who did I think that I was reading about the clickbait they didn't I think Kevin is top tier, but I like the brawler status. That's just me. So anything with a brawler, they even have like a brawler villain here, right? Uh, Roxa or whatever you pronounce her name. She, she's the villain, but she uses fists. So if we can, if I can actually pull for this character, that would be great. But who knows? Um, so I do want. I just finished Trials of Mana, so I'm kind of biased. Or Trials of Mana characters. So I do like Kevin. I like Angela. Charlotte. Ritz. Hawkeye and Duran is okay. But maybe I'm just biased. Because I, I, my team was using Kevin, Angela, and Ritz. And Charlotte is, is a healer. So that's, having healers is very important. Um, for support and stuff like that. So that's one thing to take a note of. We are getting her for free. So if Last Resort, I could just use her. He seems cool. Boomerang is a pretty cool weapon. Uh, based on that, I also seen Dark Lord seems interesting in the story, um, and I I seen videos where you could do play at these characters. You could play at these characters, so you could probably get them from the gotcha and whatnot. But yeah, so those are my choices per se. So yeah, in the beginning, you get a chance to reroll for a specific character. I think it's just a three star, right? And then if you don't want it, you keep rerolling. So at least you get to start with your favorite character. So my advice is to play whoever you want. I'm just saying it again. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. All right? Later days.